Lightroom, Lightroom Classic and Camera Raw have the clarity slider that lets you achieve a very structured and very grungy image. I made a plugin for Final Cut Pro that lets you achieve the same thing. Let's have a look. Here in Final Cut Pro you can see we have this clip of a man doing pull-ups in the gym and we want to achieve a very grungy and very structured look. This is where the clarity plugin comes in. You can also see I just have a color wheels adjustment here, which is a basic exposure and contrast adjustment. And then I have my color space transformation LUT over here, which goes from log 3 G10 red white gamut to rec 7 9, because this shot was shot on a red camera. In Final Cut Pro, the signal flows from top to bottom with the input at the top and the output at the bottom. This means we want to perform our adjustments before the color space transformation to Rec. 709 because we want to take advantage of the larger color space and we only can do this before the LUT. So always make sure that you put your adjustments before the LUT. Here I now go into the clarity plugin and just increase the clarity and you can see we get this very clean and structured look. Unfortunately this clip is not very evenly lit and this would require a bit more work so let's have a look at another shot over here. You can also see I only have an exposure and contrast adjustment over here, a LUT that goes from SLOG3 SCAMA3.CINE to REC709, and then the clarity plugin sandwiched in between. And if I increase the clarity, you can see how everything gets so structured and grungy. And also we can see if we zoom into his tattoos over there. Yeah, let's find a sharp image here. That's one, let's zoom in here. You can see how not only the overall contrast increases, but how also these structures. Have a look at this area over here and also the tattoos on, on the arm here. How these fine structures get more and more prominent. If you have ever wondered what clarity actually is, let's have a look. It's only two major things. Here on this black and white gradient, I also have my clarity plugin. And if I increase the clarity, you can see it is just a contrast curve. This means we just increase the contrast with the steepest slope being somewhere in the midtones here. If we decrease the clarity, you can see how we fog up our shadows and how we also lift the brightness of the image just a bit. What you need to understand about this contrast is that this is a luminance only contrast. So let's go back to this clip here and disable or reset the clarity plugin. I now apply my contrast plugin, contrast plugin, here we go and also drag this before the LUT. Now, if I increase the contrast, you can see how the image gets, of course, more contrasty, but also if you have a look at the vector scope here, the image gets also more saturated. If I disable my contrast plugin and go to the clarity plugin and increase the clarity over there, you can see if anything, the saturation decreases. And this is very important if you want to achieve this grungy look. Then just increase the contrast, but do it in a luminance only way. The other thing that the Clarity plugin does is that it enhances already sharp edges. So you can think of this as a kind of sharpening that's going on. Because we not only increase the contrast overall in the image, we also increase the contrast in very, or in already, very contrasty edges. So again, let's try to find a sharp frame here. I think that one is a good candidate. Now let's zoom in again and let's have a look. So again, here we have a bit of structure and if we increase the Clarity, you can see that this structure also gets a lot stronger. In a nutshell, that basically means we just increase the contrast in already contrasty areas. Because what is structure? Structure is just an area where there's already a lot of contrast. If we have a look at these edges, this is black on white, and this is a black color or somewhat a dark color on a light skin. So yeah, those are areas where there is already a lot of contrast. And with clarity, we increase the contrast in areas where there is already a large amount of contrast. Now, what happens if we decrease clarity? Let's zoom out and let's have a look. So I will reset this slider and this is the image just as it was before. If we decrease the clarity and we would counter this with our exposure and contrast adjustment, something like this, you would still see that if we zoom in here again and go to the same area, you can still see that we get rid of a bit of structure in the fine details. And this is the opposite of clarity. This is clarity in a nutshell. If you're interested in this plugin, there's a link in the video description. And if you're interested in plugins that will level up the way you color grade in Final Cut Pro, then you should watch this video next.